Why is there water around my water heater? I'm assuming you didn't mistake the leak as coming from the hot water heater when the problem is actually the washing machine. The washing machine does not have hot water and neither does the water heater. You could check the water inlet hose or pipes that bring water into the water heater. You could check the water inlet hose or pipes that bring water into the water heater. Then you have a hot water heater that has a leak. A lot of them rust on the bottom and start to leak. What would make it leak specifically on the bottom? When the insides oxidize and form rust, the particles sink to the bottom of the tank and corrode it there. All the sediments that collect inside it and form the basis of rust and decay like a cavity settle on the bottom. So you think there's a leak on the bottom of the tank? There's a reason they put leak detectors in a tray on the bottom of the hot water heater. That's because any water that leaks out will all run to the bottom, no matter where it comes from. Sometimes it leaks from pressure relief valves. However, if the unit is literally letting off enough steam to leave water puddles, you should be more concerned about it blowing up. I do not even know where the relief valve is. If it is that much pressure building up, the control panel should be blinking lights that say it is overpressure. That's assuming the dip tube is not the problem. What is a dip tube? They were put on hot water heaters in the 1990s to direct cold water coming into the heating element in the hope it would heat up faster. I wonder what could go wrong with that. The cheap plastic of the dip tube wore away or melted or dissolved into the water, and sometimes water ends up bubbling out of the dip tube hole. I'm glad my hot water heater isn't old enough to have that reason to leak. You could still have a leak around the water intake and hot water distribution pipes due to rust or corrosion. That at least would be obvious. It could be condensation from the water intake pipes, especially if the water pipes come in from a cold garage. It has to pass through walls of the house, so it cannot be that cold, much less melting ice. Water can drip from pressure relief valves well before it actually poses an explosion hazard or any other fitting end valve. How do I tell where the leak comes from? Dry it off and then see where new drips come from or drain it and start looking for holes.